My name is Evelyn Joy and I wanted to make a quick video to talk to you about the new feature VIP Kid has in the classroom. And that feature is the start class button and the finish class button. And I made this video to share with you my experience and my ideas about when the best moment is to click that button at the beginning and at the end of class. Um, there's a big sign that pops up, at least now that it's a new feature, reminding you that you need to click the button one minute before class time starts. What I do is I have a lens cover. I have a video about how to make these lens covers. Just look up Evelyn Joy lens cover and you'll find this. So I have this lens cover in place over my camera for that first minute of class. Uh, first minute before class. But I click the start button, start class button one minute before class time starts. And I type in the type box, I type one minute. I don't write a full sentence because the parents know basic English if they know some. So I just write one minute so they get the idea class is about to start. They can be there waiting and ready. Um, the next question is, when do I click finish class? Well, not from the time you clicked it, but from, oh, so you start class when it says zero. Well, I start class when it says two seconds until class starts. Um, I open my camera and I say, hello, my name is Teacher Evelyn. What's your name? Nice to meet you. How are you? You're fine? Good! I'm so happy to see you today. Today, when you do a good job, you get ice cream! Something like that. Um, so anyway, I, sorry, sorry to get off on a tangent. Um, I teach class starting at two seconds before the one minute time. Then, um, we're required to teach 25 to 28 minutes. If you have a normal class with no IT problems and your student is on time, teach 25 minutes. If you have a class where your student is late or your student has some IT issues, teach until 28 minutes. Do not teach less than 25 minutes and try your best not to teach more than 28 minutes. The main concern of the company is that you do not go under 25 minutes at, as far as you are able. If the student is 10 minutes late, you still have to stop at 28 minutes because you have to be on time to your next class. Even if you don't have a next class, we need to set that expectation. Class ends by 28 minutes so that they can be on time next time. They can make a habit of it. If they want a full 25 minute class, they need to be on time. Um, so what I do is most cases I finish class about 25 and a half minutes so then I close my camera. What I do is I'll, I have um, my stars on here, and my rewards on here. So what I do is I turn my camera off and just to be sure they can't see me, I put my lens cover on top of it because there have been some weird flukes where they can still see you or whatever. I take my headset off, give my ears a break for a minute, Take turn my two lamps off, give my eyes a break for a minute, and I take all my... Um, all my rewards off and put them back in the pockets over here and um, then at that time it's like 26 minutes then I click finish class why do I leave like an extra half minute in there before clicking finish class I in no way shape or form ever want to be accused of not teaching a long enough class when I should have um, so as far as it pertains to me Oh, even if the student is not there, I still click start class at one minute before class. The first time they came out with this, I wasn't sure whether I was supposed to click it or not. But if you're waiting for your student to come and you haven't clicked the button yet, it starts saying at the top, you are one minute late for class. I do not want VIP kid to think that I am one minute late for class. I don't want that to be in their records. So what I do is whether my student is there or not, I click 
start class because what's that what that's saying is not that I'm beginning to teach at that time it's saying I am here and ready to teach at this time so this is my proof to the company that I was on time that they should not mark me teacher IT I mean te teacher no show sorry um I suggest you do the same thing unless VIP kid comes out with some policy or announcement saying differently um, that's my two cents. You're welcome to follow my advice or not follow my advice. But actual teaching time needs to be at least 25 minutes. Uh, but I choose to click start class time one minute before. I choose to click finish class time one minute after. Just to give me, um, extra security blanket. Just, just to make sure. A little, uh, just being careful there <laughs> to make sure that I don't get accused of something that's not true that I, that I didn't teach long enough or something anyway you can choose to do it this way you can do it your own way we're all figuring this start button thing out together oh another thing is some teachers have been concerned that oh no I keep exiting the classroom without hitting the finish class button well I think the finish class button isn't as important the important thing is that you stay in the classroom long enough and uh, if you don't push the finish class button it kind of the system pushes it for you I think when you exit after time um, because when it gets to 28 minutes it and you have another class the the finish class button disappears and it's replaced with a click to go to your next class. So you can click there and it sends you your next class. If you go to 30 minutes like I did one time and you don't have a student that's next, it actually grays out and you can't push the finish button. So it kind of finishes it on, on its own if you forget to push it. So no worries about that. That's my two cents. I hope this video was helpful for you. Happy teaching and happy button pushing. <laughs> Ha, ha, ha.